Where's hi everybody and welcome to it's another video and welcome to it's another review video my dear friends for I have just finished the first book in the Horus Heresy series, Horus Rising. And if you've been following my channel for at least a month, you know that I've just recently got into Warhammer 40k. Now, being a lifelong fantasy and science fiction fan, I have been postponing getting into one of the greatest stories and franchises and IPs, if you like, uh, for too long. And after having read the uh, Eisenhorn omnibus, after devouring it in, in, in about a week, I thought to myself, yes, I will take on uh, another venture. I will take on the quest of getting through the Horus Heresy, at least those books that are necessary to read and fully understand the story of the Siege of Terra, that is the most recent, I think, of the series and uh, that concludes the entire saga. Now, if I get some things wrong, and if you are a, a Warhammer 40k enthusiast, please do excuse me, be kind, be nice. I'm only a noob, only a newbie, uh, experiencing... Uh, this world for the first time for myself. Now, um, I recommended the Eisenhorn Omnibus because you don't really need to know anything about the Warhammer 40k lore, about the grim dark universe in you know the distant future in the 41st millennium, when uh, the Empire of Terra, the Empire of Men, is uh, you know all around the galaxy being ruled over by uh, the Emperor, the God Emperor on his golden throne, the Empire, the Imperium of Men being of course divided into different strata like uh, you know the army or uh, the navy you've got the uh, adeptus astartes you know the uh, the uh, space marines you've got the inquisition and you of course have the church and uh, this is said the w w horus heresy the beginning of it is said in the well 10000 years before and we are getting to know the origins and the beginning of it all. You know, it it talks about the Primarchs, which uh, are genetically created uh, demigods, basically genetically uh, manufactured um, super soldiers. Uh, you know, they were created by the Emperor as his sons, and then of course from them genetically the Space Marines were made. Uh, those, uh, once again, like supernaturally strong, enhanced, genetically uh, super soldiers uh, wrapped in the strongest armor that, that, that there is. And uh, they are, at this point of the book, approaching the ending of their early crusade, which is uh, the reunification of uh, humans that uh, had been separated from, you know, the Earth, basically, Terra, the Imperium of Man, and um, getting as much territory of the known galaxy or you know, the the, un the universe, really, uh, as possible under the, the hands, the good hands of the Golden Emperor. And then, um, of course, getting rid of all the alien uh, <laughs> life forms, uh, as much as possible, as they call them, the Xenos. Well, and of course, at the time, we do not know much, or they do not know much, about the chaos yet, about the warp. They use it, they use the warp to travel, you know, uh, in the speed of light. And uh, secretly, the Emperor and the Primarchs, they know about the chaos and the evil creatures that reside there. But uh, it is not an openly like known fact among the Astartes yet. And our main character, our protagonist, um, Gabriel Loken, um, is one of the leaders of the Luna Wolf uh, chapters of uh, the Space Marines. Because Space Marines are divided even now, even you know, 10,000 years before the events of, let's say, the Eisenhorn Omnibus. Uh, they are divided into different legions or different chapters, like the Luna Wolves or uh, Blood Angels or the, the Emperor's Fist or something like that. And uh, this story, the Horus Heresy, should be talking about, because, you know, I don't know it in its entirety, me having only finished the first volume, uh, about the first treachery, you know, in the Imperium of Man of the Primarch Horus. Uh, being seduced by the chaos and uh, 
you know, being the, the traitor to the Emperor. Well, I don't know how it happens yet, because I've only finished the first book, which was a tremendously well-written book by Dan Abnett. Obviously, he has turned out to be one of my very favorite living authors very quickly, and... Um, you really do get to know a lot. Now, this book is filled with uh, law, with information, with characters, with, uh, uh, you know, that which basically you didn't need to know for reading um, Eisenhorn Omnibus, but definitely you will need it uh, to fully understand the world of Warhammer 40k, the grim dark universe, and so on and so forth. And so um, we are dealing with uh, the Legion of the Luna Wolves, which, you know, is the Legion of uh, uh, Primarch Horus, the War Master Horus. And uh, they venture into different planets and subduing them, uh, taking them under their control. Other Legions, of course, make appearance as well as other Primarchs like Sanguinius um, and uh, Rogel Dawn. Which I those those names say nothing to people who have never read any Warhammer forty K books, but they say everything to people who have, uh, who know the universe even more than I do. I find myself in a very strange position to be, to be honest. I'm reading these great books, these, these uh, excellently written books, um, which contain I would say, other than Tolkien, the best, uh, world building I have ever encountered. And then I'm finding myself in the middle of, you know, the experts, the fans who know a lot and, uh, you know, are recommending me one book after another. And I'm I'm like, yeah, I will get to them all, but uh, it, it takes time. There's so much. And then people who have been disgruntled by, well, the modern era and, uh, you know, are telling me don't support um, Games Workshop <laughs> because reasons. And I'm like, yeah, but I want to read good books. So, yeah, I'm I'm just going to continue. And so, uh, I have been having a blast so far. I have been enjoying reading about the Space Marines, which uh, is probably, like, the most famous aspect of Warhammer 40k universe. And uh, that which, you know, everybody thinks about when, you know, the Warhammer 40k name is mentioned. And so, I can't... I will not say much about the plot yet. Uh, I will make a full review of the first three or four uh, volumes when I have read them. Uh, I just wanted to make a, a short report on my Warhammer 40k journey and say that, yes, this is very much worth it. And so once I get through at least the first three or four books of the Horus Heresy series, I will make a full and detailed review about that. All right, so let me know in the comments down below what you think, and that'll be all. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm Maria.